Oh, it's here, oh, Dizzy! Shit. Here we go. Let's go. All right, so you know how it works. We got three accounts, my three accounts that I always have on. I'm going to be pulling Dizzy on all of them, and then I'll end it with some Mystic Summons and maybe an ML Summoner too, because that's all I have. <laughs> so, yeah, she's really cool. Really excited to pull her, and her artifact is also really good. So, let's just get right into it. First account. Yeah, a customer. Let's go. We have a visitor. We have a visitor. Flash this cool. Just like Ravi, but with bigger assets. <laughs> Necro Undyne. You definitely kind of want the artifact if you have a couple mages around. Let's not get to the one 120 club. Let's not do that. Hopefully, I can pull her within 30 pulls. Let's see. I want that artifact. Undyne. 20% CR push for mages at max. So, in reality, it's going to be like. 15% at plus 15, I imagine. Nothing but three star artifacts, huh? Ooh, we'll have an ML summon in this one, I guess, if we keep going. Dizzy, where are you? Or any four star or five star? <laughs> Something. <laughs> it's been nothing but three stars. What the hell? Oh, four star. Four star. Who do I want on this account? Uh, Pergus. Uh, not Cartuja. I want Pergus and Armin. For imprints. That's it. I think I got most of the good four stars out of the normal Covenant summon. Four star hero, Pergus! Pergus? Dom? I'll take that for a future C-Dom. Imprint. I guess I also want Rin because I have ML Rin on this account. Rin, Pergus, and Armin. 95. This looks like a 120, unfortunately. We're close to 30 summons. Three more till 90. Two. One. Blast off! We're at 90 summons. Dang it. Ah! I want our artifact, too. Here we go. We're just gonna toss an ML in between the summons. Let's go, Bal. To the or Bale. Library. ML Bale. ML Can or ML Rule. Please? No, it's cursed. A new one, though. Parado? Uh, the worth of a man is not determined by appearance, but by actions. I'll forge my own way no matter what. Yeah. Rip. But maybe that's the the break we needed to get a dizzy. All these other people are summoning dizzy in like ten tries. Where's my dizzy? Hey, another four star. Okay. Was that three four stars now? Three or four? Armin, nice. Oh, and she's new. Do you need something? Just let me know. Yeah, I need your imprint, baby. Unfortunately, you'll have to be turned into dust. You can feed my ML Armin, which I still haven't built up yet. I gotta build her up. I've had her for like, since the beginning of this account. <laughs> Even though she's so OP in PvP, you haven't built her. I've been focusing on speed gear for my DPSs, but not for my tanks. Oh, four star. Uh, what do I want? Dust Devil? Or Taga Heal? Taga Hail book? You like Lance. Maybe... Maybe I don't summon her right now on this account. Because obviously I'm having some crap luck. I'm, I'm seeing this thing go off every three seconds. Look at all these people. Undyne, Undyne, Dizzy, Dizzy, Dizzy. Undyne, Dizzy, Dizzy, Necro. Grrr. Where's my Dizzy? I'll go to 50, and uh, if not, I'll stop. And then go move on to my other account. Oh, four star! Dust Devil! Oh, Taga Hill's book. Nice. Tage Hill? How do you pronounce this? Tage Hill? But well, this is good on Dizzy, ironically, too. 
At max, though. You need it at max so you can get two souls. Thingies. Or 20 souls, I guess, is the number. And rip! 50 summons. What was that? 70 summons and no dizzy. You lose! Maybe my other counts will fare, fare better. So I'll switch to them right now. Alright, second account. Vidra, let's go. Dizzy, stop playing around. Rika, a customer. I need you, girl. I need you, my life. Can we get Dizzy and 30 summons on this account? Bar has failed. But can Vidra redeem itself? Uh -oh. Okay, here we go. Four star on the back. Maybe I should just take it slowly. Ooh, Kaladra. Like me some Kaladra. Mage artifact. Okay, we skip that. Okay, it's too slow now. <laughs> Joker! And we pulled Dizzy within 30 summons. Is it possible ever? <laughs> I don't think I've ever pulled a unit within. Well, I guess I have, but not within like 10 or 5, like some people. They'd be like, oh, two summons, got dizzy. Easy clap. Easy clap. <laughs> Meanwhile, me. Sad Pepe. Why is this, uh, why do I have the worst luck? <laughs> do I have to join the 120 club? I guess I lucked out on Biken. I got her on all my accounts within a reasonable amount. Hashtag not the 120 club or 121. But now Dizzy's like trolling me, bro. She's trolling me. Maybe because I said I preferred Biken. Now she's like mad at me. She's like, you. I'm sorry, Dizzy. I wanted you all along. Biken, she just, you know, she's well developed. Oh. Where's that hero? Angelica? Angelica. Angelica. <gasps> ah, Maya. I've yet to pull Angelica on this account, which is my main account since I since I had since December. I've yet to pull Angelica. Angelica, come on! Screw Dizzy, I want Angelica. Four star artifact. Infinity basket. Ooh, 88 summons already. Jeez, my bookmarks. My sky stones. They're flying by. They're flying high in the sky. Four star artifact. What is it? It's another infinity basket. Thanos' artifact. Come on, 300 bookmarks. Oh! Oh! New! 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 Angelica! 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 First roaming. Uh, Arado's better than you, bro. Get out of my face. Oh, uh, I don't feel so good anymore. <laughs> Can I get her artifact at least? Can I get that five star artifact? Bro, we're gonna have to check the rates. What is this? What is this? Dizzy 1%. Was, where's hers? Her artifact? 1.05%. Necro and Undyne. One more summon before I switch to my last account and we'll, we'll try to summon her within 30. And there we go. Both two accounts have failed to summon her within 70 summons. Yo, ah, that's crazy. And we're going to be moving on to Welcome my to last account. Library. Hopefully... Which is my luckiest account. Hopefully it can redeem these two scrub accounts with better luck. If not, we're going all the way to 120 so I can talk about Dizzy and give my first impressions of her. So switching to my last account, let's go. Meme Chupa will take on the Dizzy challenge. Get her in 30 summons and then win. That's, that's it. Right now I'm losing. I'm two down. I lost two matches out of three. Technically, I lost, but <laughs> maybe if we can get... 
dizzy early, we can redeem ourselves. And later, I also got Mystic Summons for that Veil and one ML Summon as well. Maybe two, depending on how long, how long this takes it. But let's go, guys. Last account. Do not fail me, Chupa! First summon. Slow roll, slow roll, first summon. Okay. First summon, not working. Quick roll, quick roll. Spam. <gasps> Angelica! But on the wrong account. I already got you. I'll take you though. I'll take an Angelica. Hey, Moonlight Dream Blade. I don't have Violet on this account. 104. 103. 102. <laughs> 101. Four star hero. Who is it? Pergus. Too bad I don't have General Pergus on this account. So he's just a uh, furry sitting in the inventory. 71 bookmarks. I'll have to buy bundles. Don't let me buy bundles! 30 summons, please! Kisei! Kisei. <laughs> Dust Devil. That's what I thought of Kisei. <laughs> 99. And I do it. Oh, a little bit lag. I think lag. Right lag? I'll let it go. No touch. No touch. Oh, touch, touch, touch. Ooh, touch, touch. <clears throat> you got 10 summons left on uh, before I had to buy a bundle and watch my sky stones go down the drain. And then I'll be left with no energy to farm the event because I don't have any leaves because I drain all my leaves. And Smilegate does not give us an option to get. <gasps> Five star! Yes, yes! Undyne! 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 Please! Please, Undyne! Please, Undyne! Yes! Victory! 2 sentient wings on Dizzy's back. When attacking, the green wing becomes Necro, a grim reaper, and the blue wing becomes Undyne, an angel. Though their personalities often clash, both of them consider Dizzy's safety their highest priority. Increases the combat readiness by 10% after an AoE attack. This effect cannot be activated by counterattack, dual attack, or extra attack. So the extra attack is what we're all wondering about. And I'll try to test it shortly, but let's continue and get that dizzy. And we go back to back. Five star artifact, five star hero. That's what we usually do. Is it? Oh no. Okay. Didn't work. But nice. We got we got the artifact within 30 summons. I think that's a win. That's a draw. It's a draw. Sort of lucky, sort of really unlucky. Rip me. I better get ML Bail. <gasps> Ooh. A dupe? A dupe. Or Idol's Cheer. Idol's Cheer? Ah, dude, nice. Cool, cool, cool. We can get like 16 or 17% uh, combat readiness now. At plus 18, I guess. And we're 43 now. And I might have to buy another bundle. I might have to clear inventory again, which is annoying. Dude, it's been like eight months. When are we gonna get more inventory space? We should have like 300 hero space and then 500 inventory. First thing though? Really? Ooh. And I got ML Dingo on this account, so thanks for the imprint, boy. Though he's got dual attack chance. That's pretty nice. I'm not sure what the ML one has. Another four star artifact. Is it another Dust Devil? I know I suck at singing, so I'll probably stop right now. Even though I'm not really trying to sing, I'm just kind of bored. <laughs> oh, yes! I don't join the 120 club, no way! It's the loser club! Dizzy! <laughs> Japanese voice! Yay! Competition this isn't just about fighting. You're right, it's about winning. And boy, have I won. Looks pretty, and I like the character art here. Looks a lot like Euphine. But whatever. Let's read the skills. If you guys haven't paid attention to the patch notes, 
S3. Emotional Gamma Ray. Unleashes a giant explosion to attack all enemies. The attack misses, so it always misses, which means it doesn't crit, but it'll inflict decreased speed, attack, and hit chance for two turns regardless. So this doesn't mean it bypasses resistance. It still has to be checked by resistance. But what it does mean is that even though it's a miss, it can still apply debuffs. So normally when you miss, you can't apply debuffs, which is why ML Cartuja and Violet are such a pain to fight in PvP. So this is... This kind of avoids that, though it's still, it's still gonna ironically proc her skills because it misses. So ML Cartuja will gain 10% or 15% CR and what's his face? Violet <laughs> will counterattack her, which is kind of bad. Um, but Free speed, attack, and hit are very powerful debuffs. Uh, kind of underrated. People don't realize at 100% all in one skill. Like this is not just one one of those. It's all of them. So this is a really good debuff skill. It does do damage and soulborn for 20, which is why you need max level. Like a hell book grants an extra turn, and it's four turn cooldown upon plus three in Molagora. S2. This is the more powerful one. Gamma Ray. Attacks all enemies with a powerful ray, extended duration of debuffs by one turn. Which, so you go S3 and then S2, and then that's three turns of speed, attack, and hit chance down. Uh, except for those which prevent the enemy from moving, so you can't extend stun to like two turns or sleep to like two turns. Even though sleep kind of sucks, because they won't be asleep for two turns. Because um, you normally would just hit them, unless you had a team with all passive skills. But anyways, uh, before decreasing combat readiness by 50%, 50%, this is what's going to make us strong, and it's on a three turn cooldown. So this is what's going to make her flexible in how you build her, which I'll get into with the hero guide, but just a quick thing, she can be built in many ways as a CR debuffer, decreasing people's CR like Shadow Rose does. Um, by 50% or you can make her tanky and you can make your resistance I don't think she's gonna be damaged we'll have to wait till the modifiers are leaked from the data miner but um, yeah as a debuffer she's really good which obviously you need high effectiveness so if you build her you're gonna have to need you know 55 to 120 plus effectiveness I would say if you're in a higher tier PvP you probably want 120 150 effectiveness uh, on her and then as much HP as possible uh, but 50% CR is game-changing in many ways that can win you a game by itself that's as much as Tama's CR boost up but Tama needs full skill investment to get that 50% this is 50% outright if it procs on the enemy so prepare your immu immunity sets because Dizzy's gonna come and she's gonna make you dizzy and S1 I used to catch fish Okay, that's a weird skill name. Attacks all enemies with the power of magic with a 25% chance to stun for one turn, damage dealt, blah 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 blah. Increases on debuff enemies, okay. So if the enemy has a debuff, the damage is increased. 25% chance to stun kind of sucks, but it is an AoE, so all her skills are AoE, which is really nice in most cases. But mm, the low chance on this is kind of bad. Even if you have Crown of Eyes, I think that's like 50% chance to stun overall. I guess it's not bad late game, which is what she's going to be good at, but uh, yeah. Not that crazy of an S1. And then we'll have to wait for our modifiers. And she's got attack imprint, SSS, which <laughs> good luck doing, because <laughs> with my luck anyways, I uh, think I'll stop here. But yeah, that is Dizzy. We got her, boys! We got her! Of course we got her. I had enough sky stones to guarantee her, but would have been nice if that was, you know, 80 summons earlier. But anyways, we got ML summons and we got mystic summons. Let's just do the mystic summons first. Let's get that bail. Who's on the roster right now? Sage, Kisei, Alexa, Chris and Moon. Okay, Kisei. I'll take a Kisei, dude. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 69 <laughs> 69 missing medals and yeah guys this is gonna be the last 
summon video for a long time. After this, I'm just gonna use them off screen. Um, yeah. And I'm gonna save up until we get another cool hero to spend all my summons on. And no Emma Bail. <laughs> but we do got two ML summons. So <sighs> Three star. Celeste Arado. You grace my presence once again. Well, I guess I got an imprint for 120 health. Thanks, bro. Celeste. Or Wanda. I forgot. Oh, that's a different character. <laughs> they like the same. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed my summoning video. I know these things are kind of annoying, but hope you guys enjoyed it anyways. Hopefully, try to make it at least somewhat entertaining to watch. Skip all the bull crap, uh, crappy artifacts and stuff. Three-star artifacts and stuff like that. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Let me know down in the comments below how much bookmarks it took for you to get dizzy. I'll be making a guide on dizzy shortly after in the next couple days. Um, oh, should you six-star dizzy right now? That is the question. Should you six-star dizzy? I don't think she is a priority right now, especially if you're new. If you're new, I don't recommend six-starring her right now. Um, she's not, she's a useful character, but she's not a vital character that you need. Um, so something like Soul, once you get all his copies, you definitely want to six star him right away. Um, something like Angelica, something like Kisei, Araminta, but Dizzy, you probably don't need to six star her. Um, unless you got the leftover resources and you want to use her in PVP. In PvE, she's going to be good, but she's not going to be, again, she's not going to be needed vitally. She doesn't really offer too much besides the, the attack down and hit chance, which is nice. It's going to be nice against Wyvern 11 um, if you're new and can't handle Wyvern 11. Because when Wyvern 11 has three debuffs, all the fireballs do way less damage. And then with hit chance and attack down, it's going to do hella less damage. So really good for Wyvern but only as a debuffer to prevent damage off your tank. As a damage dealer, I mean, we'll have to see. We'll have to test it out and stuff like that. People are gonna be testing it out. There's gonna be Reddit videos, there's gonna be YouTube videos, there's gonna be streamers, all that jazz. Um, wait to people test it out to know if you should six star. I don't think you need to six star her right now, but she definitely, she definitely is gonna be good overall. In the end game, she's gonna be, she's gonna be good. So she's gonna be solid. Especially this move right here. Once you get a three-star awakened, that 50% CR is going to be useful against a lot of bosses. Just like Lydica um, and ML Silk are useful for bosses because they reduce the CR by, uh, was it, 0%, right? They reduce their CR to 0%. Well, this is almost as good, 50%, nearly as good, especially if you have Tama. Tama boosts you up by 50%. She boosts the, the enemies down by 50%. That's basically... You know zero and 100 percent for your team um but she will do it to every enemy so unlike lytica and ml silk she'll decrease the the ads as well so but you know s1 is going to be pretty useless for you um while these are on cooldown so maybe i think etika if you're planning to use pve i think etika is going to be the artifact of choice for you um just to get these cooldowns so you can spam these skills more often and for the artifact it's going to be good on ML Mercedes because Mercedes booster, if she crits while well, all four crits on her S3, it boosts her CR by 80%. So with this, if you have it at max, which is going to be hard to do, but if you got that cash money, you can get that 20% CR at max and she'll take two turns basically for free. Well, anyways, thank you guys for watching. That's going to be for me. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode again. Dizzy guy coming soon. If you haven't, if you're new to the game and you haven't built up soul or you don't know how to build soul and want to know how, check out my soul guide in the end screen annotations and you can watch some of my previous summoning videos as well. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys li liked the video. Comment down below again how many summons did it take for you to get dizzy? What's your thoughts on dizzy? What do you think of the artifact? Uh, etc. etc. And of course, remember to subscribe for more.
Epic Show Video Business.